Greetings, creepers. Um, I'm Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor, and I have my happy knife. And I'm also wearing the same shirt as I did last time, aren't I? Um, it's not the same day, um, and it's actually been washed. Um, my happy knife means, of course, I'm unboxing something, and something came in the mail today from Prudentius Publishing, which is the LLC owned by Menton 3. Uh, Menton Matthews the third. he's a... Um, Comic book artist probably is the first way you, you would have heard of him. Um, could be, he also was a musician, but he but he recorded under a different name. Um, Meant on three, did all sorts of really cool stuff. He's still doing covers for the um, X Files on, I think it's IDW. Um, he did back in two thousand nine. He he created his own comic book called Ars Memoria. He did um, the Memory Collectors. He's done various different things like this. More recently, in the last like two or three years, he has transitioned to being more of a fine artist, not just a comic book artist. Um, and that's where I that's where I totally love him. He's um, uh, had a major show at uh, Last Rights Gallery in New York City. Um, that'd be two years ago. Catabasis. Uh, we we um, had a link about the um, the Kickstarter for it. They had a very extremely novel idea of way to, way to uh, fund pre-sale um fine art this is this is a very clever way of um doing extremely space age patronage in effect um so they did that for catabasis catabasis being um a greek term look it up god damn it you know th th there's the internet um uh he has a he has a penchant for um for the the classical illusions and things um um Catabasis, uh, uh, so there that, that was a single show. He also then uh, did um, The Kindly Ones with David Stupakis, who is another um, dark art, for lack of a better term, um, uh, artist. Um, Kindly Ones, um, not Neil Gaiman. You know, there were, they, there were allusions to this long before um, Sandman. Um, uh, it, it, it's the Furies, I mean, or, or the... the or, or, Irenes, uh, the, um, uh, the the Greek um, notion of um, it's a psychological I I experience. Blah blah blah. Talking too much. Um, uh, th there was a show this man just this earlier this year. Um, they have um, Menton three or Menton uh, is a um, has formed a um, an art brotherhood let's just say called the hand uh with david stupakis and damien eccles um who you might know more as i think he was the what is it the east memphis three which is a horrible way of describing someone uh, he does more um he, he, he's a, he's an occultist um uh, one of the probably one of the 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 the, the um the, the the greatest black magicians of our time uh, um and by Black magician, I'm differing it, uh, distinguishing it from an illusionist. Um, uh, so the three of them do cool stuff together, including Salem, which is going to be a show next year at the uh, Capra Nason Gallery in California someplace. Someplace where it's warm and they have palm trees. Who really cares about them? Um, so M M Mint is a really, really intriguing artist. Um, um, he uh, had a really great sale on uh, prints of his on Black Friday, which is what these are. Um, it's very, very clever, I think, of artists to, and I will, I will start cutting as I'm talking. Uh, our artists coming up with different price points of way, different ways that folks can uh, participate with their art. So um, um, he obviously has um, uh, um, hand painted work, or he works in oils. Uh, he also has uh, airbrush stuff. I think he's done that mostly with, for for the comic stungs, um, and and then he also ha has um, um, uh, prints of his of his pieces. So these were some of the ones that I particularly liked. It would be really spectacular if I hurt myself, wouldn't it? Um, But alas, that was not to be. No hurting. So, you know, and I can't remember the exact names of these pieces, or I wish, or, or I could say what they were. But, uh, how lovely. 
so it comes flat packed, nice, beautifully packed, and that looks like mylar. This one is rolled. Let's see which one the rolled one is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is actually my, one of my favorite pieces of his. Um, yeah, you can't really tell. One could say that, that is a self-portrait. It's one of the, I think, Acolyte series. Um, quite a nice reproduction. And um, yeah, and, and they, were, they were on sale quite, quite reasonably for um, uh, for Black Friday. I right, check him out again. I'm sure I'll have a link to this. He has a big cartel. Um, and oh, there's got to be a way to open this. It's like a big comic book bag. So seriously, he does um, uh, he does many pictures of uh, of beautiful women. Let's just say that, um, and nothing against the beautiful ladies. Um, it's just I, I I what's really intriguing is he he tends to turn them uh, slightly creepy, slightly um, uh, meditative. They um, he's described his process as as like uh, meditating. He meditates on what um, the internal dynamic of what. Um, of the piece, and that many of these um, female forms are actually his anima, his his um the, his the female part of his uh, psychology. Um, I'll dig this. So this is this is another one. Like I said, I don't remember names, which is really really pathetic because I'm a writer. Writers are supposed to know words, right? Um, I don't remember lyrics to songs. I don't remember titles to stuff. Um, this is lovely. Anyways, and um, yeah. So so two more, um, um, three more things that I that I bought. Yes, for myself. Um, very reasonably priced things to put on your walls. Put stuff on your walls, for God's sake. Um, there's nothing quite as pathetic as having nothing on your walls. Um, I don't care if you've got the comfiest IKEA couch. Put something on that flipping walls. Um. You don't have to pay to frame them. You could just, you know, put a thumbtack into the um, into the drywall. Um, so again, these are things from um, Mentioned Matthews the Third. His um, his uh, artistic handle, if you would, is um, is Menton Three. Um, uh, he's currently based in Chicago, which makes him perfectly in the in the sense of the uh, Midwest sublime. Um, he and he's doing that really intriguing crossover. Um, uh, in, 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 in culture, you know, in, in the ancient Greeks, folks, you know, uh, culture was all, you know, everyone was involved in Greek theater, right? Um, there was no high, low culture thing. You know, he's doing art, he's doing high art stuff in like really shishi galleries. And he's also doing comic book stuff. And what's even cooler <laughs> is he's transitioning into doing, uh, tattoo work, um, I, I, you can think of probably several folks who have transitioned from being tattoo artists into being, you know, two-dimensional artists of, of some sort. Um, but what's really intriguing to me is that that he is, um, that Menten is is a uh, uh, transitioning from. Um, I'm, st I'm still going to have to call it like the fine art artist such um, um, to towards um, embodied art. Uh, there, there is something so performative, so immediate, so obviously visceral, bloody, painful um, uh, about about a tattoo. They they are a very transformative experience. They uh, are they something that sort of explains who you are and who you want to be. At least that's some of the way he talks about them too. Um, it's not just like something you you have you have scrawled on your flesh uh, the last time you got a paycheck. Um, I'm really intrigued by by um, by this 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 new elevation of tattoo as um, uh, as valid, not just valid cultural expression, but valid personal transformation artifact. Sure. Um, 
This has been the Leech Doctor talking, um, unboxing fun stuff with my happy knife. Uh, Menton 3, dig his stuff. Um, I've sponsored, let's see, three of three of their, their, their Kickstarters. Uh, they make lovely, gorgeous volumes. Hey, you should too. Um, talk to you again soon. Oh, and I really can't believe I didn't mention, um, uh, so Menton, um, David, uh, Damien Eccles and, uh, and David Stupakas, as well as a cast of others, have, have this really fantastic podcast. They've been doing that for about six months, maybe. They've never missed a Monday. And sometimes they have these little extra emergency ones in the middle. Um, podcast called Transgression, um, where, they, it, where they talk for about an hour on, on matters of art and culture. Um, really intriguing stuff. Um, it's actually some of the most intriguing, um, uh, interesting stuff about, about uh, the arts and, and culture uh, that, I, that, I, that I have access to recently. Um, they've, they've talked to other folks like Chet Czar, um, Old Hag, um, I mean, other folks in the, um, um, yeah, dark art, um, um, movement, whichever you want to call it. They, they enjoy each other's company and they have lots to say, um, generally on a pretty high level. So check that out too. Transgression.